Welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are in a sprite, actually, not Blender. Um, so usually we're in Blender, and we're not today. I I don't usually do tutorials on uh, applications or programs that are not free. I've actually never done that, but. Today we are going to take a look at Asprite, um, which is $15 because it is just such an amazing program. Pretty much what it does is it's a pixel art program if you've never uh, heard of it before and uh, or you just you just bought it and you need to know how to maneuver around some stuff. So first things first, we have our canvas right here. If I zoom in, um, we're going to have 32 pixels by 32 pixels so we can just draw a little bit right there. As you can tell, um, I can hit Control Z to undo that. Um, and the way we're going to bring up our timeline is either go up here to view and then hit timeline, uh, timeline, or we're going to hit tab on our keyboard and that'll pop the timeline right on up. So I'm using a tablet right now, actually. Um, so uh, you can move around the canvas with the middle mouse button if you're using the mouse. Of course, draw is the left mouse button and the right mouse button is the opposite color. I'll get over that. I'll get to that in a second. Um, so. What we're going to be doing is, first things first, I want to go over a couple of these buttons that we have around here. Of course, over on the left, we have our, all of our colors in our palette. We have a color picker down here. Uh, over on the right, we have all of our tools. So this is our uh, box selection. If we click that, you can see that we have a circle selection. We have a lasso uh, tool. We have a polygonal lasso tool. So we can pretty much have like some lines that define our... Um, our selection so if I click there click there click there we can have like a square which is pretty cool um, and then we have uh, of course our magic wand tool so we can select the entire canvas um, our, our pen tool which is pretty much just the default tool we have ooh, let me undo that we have our uh, spray tool so pretty much just like a spray can eraser of course that erases things eyedropper of course you can pick uh, a color zoom you know what that does hopefully <laughs> the move tool you can move things around here uh once we have created something ooh, once we have created something we can move it around just like that we have the blur tool which ooh, we have the blur tool which blurs things of course ooh, if i grab oh that's the paint bucket tool yeah that's right okay that's the uh paint bucket tool and we also have the gradient tool the gradient tool is a really really neat feature um which i'll get into later on once again with the two colors off on the side we have the line tool, which creates lines. If I click and hold, click, hold, line. Um, we have the rectangle tool, which will create a actual rectangle of pixels instead of just the selection. And with the rectangle tool, we also have the filled, an ellipse, eclipse, ellipse, circle tool, and a filled ellipse uh, circle tool. So with our contour tools, we have the same thing. You can pretty much just draw a circle. Let me get rid of some of this draw a circle and it will fill in where you did not draw it's pretty it's pretty sweet stuff and finally the blur tool like i was mentioning earlier if i draw something i can go ahead and blur it or i could jumble it which is a pretty cool feature um so let's get into the uh this this double color thing over here that i was talking about earlier if i want to click one color that is how we're going to draw, right? We're going to draw with whatever color that I click. So if, ooh, so if I click this green, I'm going to draw with that green. Now, if I hit uh, the right mouse button or the top button on my um, on my pen, my drawing pen, what will happen is it will draw the secondary color that I have on my palette. So as you can tell, this has like a little black tab up at the top. That's the green color we're using. That's the indication. That's the color we're using. Now down at the bottom of this black tab, down at the bottom of this black tab, we have this little white piece, if you can see that right there, the little white piece. Um, that indicates that that is our secondary color. So the way to change our secondary color is to go up to the palette and either right click with your mouse, the other color or you know the top button on your pen by default so if i draw the green right now it has the black up there and the right button is the white with the white thing down there so that will create the other color so that's our secondary and primary colors that's a pretty neat uh thing to go back and forth between different colors of course we have our color picker that's no big deal this little uh this little uh explanation point that will add whatever color you are using down here to the palette up top so that's pretty cool so you can hit add and then boom your colors instantly added up there that's pretty sweet stuff you can come down here and pick a color manually with some numbers um and stuff like that and you can add that with the explanation point as well so uh up at the top here we have an edit color so pretty much what this is is you can edit the palette after you click that so if it's locked you can't really move these guys around you can move them around um 
you can't really move them around. I can just select them. But uh, if I uncheck that and then select one of these, one or three of these, I can, if I click this little tab up here, I can actually move the colors around and do some customization. If I click the yellow line, um, hold my cursor over top of that, you'll see I get a little move icon. If I ho hover over the yellow line and then move it, I can move these around, which is pretty handy. So let's lock that back down. This is sort and gradients, of course. We can sort all of our colors by hue, saturation, brightness, luminance. I'm going to go by hue. So now we have by hue, uh, traditional sense, of course. Um, and we can also do by luminance. So the darker ones and the brighter ones. Um, and the presets, we have a bunch of different presets that you can use here for your palettes. Um, and pick a nice one. We can hit load. Or you can import your own palettes by hitting open folder and then opening a palette like that. And we can draw these, draw with these rather, um, and have a really nice time with those beautiful colors. Um, this right here is options. You can edit the palette, palette size. I can change the number of colors. Um, and of course, we can do all that good stuff. Um, small icons, bigger icons. Uh, you can change the type of color picker you have down here at the color spectrum instead. Um, you can load or save a palette. So if I want to add a bunch of colors to this palette and then uh, I want to use it next time, I can up here to save palette and the next time I can just load that palette or I can hit save as default palette and then that'll save as the default, which I will do save as default palette since I like this palette a lot. So you can also uh, lessen or add colors to the palette by clicking this little drag thing and dragging this up or down you can create new ones and then I can just select this black color and select a color and just you know draw with it or whatever and be like oh I want to add this to the palette boom and that adds right there to the palette so uh, that's really good or you can just knock that back right on down so uh, a sprite is really really cool um, but it gets even cooler when you start dealing with the actual animation properties um, and we will get into that in the next tutorial. Um, this was just a little overview of all the tools and functions. We will get into the animation uh, basics in the next tutorial. I'll see you guys in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you let me know down below. It shows me that you care. I'll see you guys in this tutorial. But until then, bye.